Um, so we're showing our new 9320A reference controller here. And this interfaces directly with our software GLM. And GLM is our calibration and control software for our DSP-based monitor series called the Smart Active Monitors. Um, and so basically what that does is we have a GLM microphone and you would set that up in your listening position. Um, it would send a command to your DSP monitors and they do a sweep. And then you could see here in GLM the result of that. So you could see your raw response, the filter yeah. GLM applies, and then the resulting um, of those filters. Okay. And all of that is user adjustable. It also deals with all level compensation and time of flight to that listening position. Um, and on top of that, it gives you control over the monitor. So you can change level, you can mute, you can dim, all right from GLM. Um, you can bypass calibration if you'd like, see if you, what you like better. Mm -hmm. um, you can make personal adjustments using the sound character profiler. Um, so if you want to take down the high end, uh, so you have a more bass heavy response in your room, you, you can do that as well. And then you can switch between different groups. And groups have a lot of data tied to them. They could be different calibrations completely. Um, so you could have one where you're in a near fill position. You could have one where you're sitting back at the back of the room. Oh, cool. Um, and it could also just be like if you have uh, several different pairs of our speakers, or you have an immersive rig and a stereo rig. Um, you can choose which speakers are active and inactive in your group, and that way you're not routing any audio where it's not supposed to go. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, and um, so this is where this box comes in. Okay. It becomes a hardware control for uh, the GLM network. Okay. So all your important features are here, switching between groups, um, muting, dimming, setting a preset level, um, turning on and off base management if you're working with the subwoofer. Um, and then on top of that, it also does stereo routing, so you can go in digital through the USB audio, okay. or you can go in AES-EBU, or you can go in analog, and any of those inputs can be routed to any output, so it has digital out, it has analog out, and it also has a reference grade headphone out. Um, so it's easy to switch between those ins and outs, um, it gives you a lot of flexibility, there's a lot of different use cases, like you may have a an immersive rig that you use this to monitor control, mm -hmm. but then you're routing your, your headphone feed into yeah, so it, do, uh, and then you're switched to your headphones, and, and then your main monitor's mute, the and then now you're listening on your headphones really easily. So yeah, that kind of that gives you the up. gist of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And um, this, uh, this you basically order it comes in a bundle, like together with the speakers. Um, not with the speakers, no. So this uh, this 9320 reference controller, it will come with like the GLM microphone. Mm -hmm. So you have everything you need to get started in that sense. Um, the speakers are, are typically sold differently. We're a distributor, so uh, we don't sell direct. Yeah. But our, our dealers typically they might have some bundles where you can get yeah. two. Okay. But yeah, so like the 8331s or any of our other smart active monitors come separately from the. Uh, it's controller. Nice, nice. Yeah. And I'm just like curious about like the base situation. It's like it's yeah. kind of like looks like it's like shooting out that way in a way. So it's actually um, two racetrack woofers. Oh, okay. And they work together um, to get the low end. Um, the port is actually in the back here. Okay. Um, this is just to let the the low frequencies like come out mm -hmm. of the front, but we didn't want to create any like diffraction or any coloration because of that. Yeah. Um, so the waveguide was created so that the slots would be at the top and the bottom, so you're not getting any coloration coming out of the the mid cone ah, and the tweeter. Nice. Yeah, they're really smart over at Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, so this is a, a really cool design. Yeah. Um, I know there was like, like when they're thinking about these things, they're constantly thinking about like, well, how can we get it even more precise? Yeah. And so I think this this design of the one series is really quite quite brilliant, really, to to avoid any sort of coloration coming yeah. out of there, um, and also allowing those base frequencies to get out, which they of course need to do. Of course, yeah. Yeah. GLM itself is a free download. Mm -hmm. You do need either a GLM kit or this reference controller in order to calibrate the speakers because you need a GLM microphone because it has a serial number tied to it. Um, so we take that into account when they're doing the measurements. And you also need an adapter to get you connected to the, from the computer to all your speakers. Yeah, so then it can 
calibrated correctly in your array. Yes, exactly. Is you can also have a grade report just rated. And so what that is, is it's an extensive report about the acoustics based on those impulse responses we took mm -hmm. um, from your um, calibration. So it'll go through, it won't just tell you frequency response, it'll show you early reflections, it'll show you early versus late sound, it'll pinpoint exactly where those early reflections are, um, and then it'll also show you things like waterfall graphs, wavelets, um, and this is really important information in terms of like where you're placing things in your room, yeah. where you want to put acoustical panels up, and then running another report again and seeing did that help, did yeah. that make other things worse, sure. you know, like is that actually objectively making a difference? Yeah. Um, you know, you might put some bass traps in the back and then be like, did that help absorb any of my low <laughs> energy? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a really helpful report. Um, That's cool. We're all about you know trying to get the most accurate sound. Yeah. And we understand. And nobody's mixing in anechoic chambers. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta work with what you got. Yeah. And so it's all about either identifying problem areas and trying to fix them, or even if you can't fix them, just knowing know what you're where working they with. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Knowing what you're working with. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for explaining. Of course, you're very welcome.